Hey everyone, this is Jessica Maka, Stat Gamer, and right now we're playing Anatomy, which is a niche horror game from Itch Shadow. It also apparently has a VHS aesthetic. I'm incredibly blind on this, and I think we're already playing. Yep, we are already playing. It's definitely got the VHS saying going on, or VHS aesthetic, if you will. Now, being me, I'm going to take my time and explore. I don't have a light source, unfortunately. This is just as dark as it naturally is. Maybe I'll get a flashlight soon. You can kind of see things a lot better if you just kind of walk up to them. Look at that good old painting of, I want to say pyramids, but they almost kind of look more like mountains that just happen to be very triangular. Let's go. The door is closed. There's a socket in our home. If I can interact with things, there's an icon. But that door is locked, and you have to click on it, not press E. Oh, wow, you can run really fast. Like, this is how fast you walk, and then this is me running. I'm kind of concerned that you can actually run so fucking fast in this. Anyways, let's try and interact with a few things. The doors mostly seem locked. Jeez, is there no light switches in our home? I don't see any. There's a picture of skeleton cats fighting. That could be a skeleton cat and a dog, depending on how you look at it. I'm not a skeleton expert, so I could probably pinpoint exactly what that was. But, oh, I got on the couch. My favorite thing to do is sit on the couch during a nice evening. It's a nice healing fan. It's how, it's how you can hear what the fan has to say. I always have been a person to listen to my fans. <laughs> oh. Anyways. Nothing on the TV, nothing on the TV. I'm just going to continue exploring my incredibly dark house. Apparently, it's not even that I didn't like pay the electricity bill. I just don't even have any goddamn light switches in my home. That looks like a people all gathered around this good old table here, so. <clears throat> anyway, so I'm going to ignore this. Imagine if this was a videotape of somebody like recording and somebody just decides to watch like a home movie of them just wandering around the house staring at their walls like I am. Huh. I like their abstract art taste. No, uh, which way? All of the doors are locked in my house. I've never been in a house that's been so locked down, except out of anything that's glowing in my house, it's this goddamn thing on the table. It looks like a cassette player. Look at that. I, guess, I mean, I guess that's what I'm going to interact with. Give me a second look around my kitchen. I, I really don't know what this game is about. It's called Anatomy, and I noticed that there's some anatomy themes going on in the pictures in the walls, but... What is this? A cassette. Obviously, I picked this up first. Ah, look. I wonder where this goes. Let's listen in. In the psychology of the modern civilized human being, it is difficult to overstate the significance of the house. Since as early as the Neolithic era, humankind has defined itself by its buildings. Buildings for worship. Buildings for socializing. Buildings for protection. Even buildings for the commemoration of the dead. But of all the structures that mankind has invented for itself, there is little doubt that the house is that which it relies upon most completely for its continued survival. There's a tape in the dining room. Do we just come home? I mean, I don't even know if this is my house, to be honest. Maybe I'm invading somebody else's home. The assumption is to think I'm in my house, but maybe this isn't my house at all. I don't know how, why he just says in a videotape style there's a tape in the dining room. And of course, the t door has now been opened. I think there's forces of something working with or against me here. Before I do that... So, not every door in the house has been opened. I kind of wanted to see what's up here before I get too deep in exploring. Spirally. Nothing else upstairs. We got a bug. We got... It looks like an eye? Kind of like an eye insect to me. Could also be one of the psychology tests for the try see what do you see? Could explain a few of these paintings actually, though that is very literally a mosquito. So all the doors on the second floor have been closed this whole time. Still a bit concerned of how fast you run. Almost feels like I'm a goddamn race car whenever I do that. Let's see what's inside the quote unquote dining room. Probably not a flashlight though. Nothing there. How about here? It's a nice little estate, and I see the tape. I guess my goal is to collect tapes. Ah, this pathway is also open, and yep, this leads to this room. That's about what I expected. Let's take you. I'm starting to feel a little bit nervous, because I really much doubt this whole game is entirely about picking up cassette tapes and listening to them. Let's listen, though. 
The house is one of the key elements that separates modern humanity from its more primitive antecedents. No other creature goes to such lengths to create lasting, permanent shelter for itself, nor regards said shelters with such reverence and import. Why do human beings of our modern age foster this tremendous sympathy toward their homes? There are many reasons, of course, but perhaps it is due in some small part to seeing them as a reflection of ourselves. Downstairs bathroom. It doesn't imply there's an upstairs bathroom, but sure, I'll take the bait right now. I thought it might be that door, to be honest. It could be. Hmm. If I was. It could be this door. Yep, it is. Look, exciting bathroom. I can stay on the toilet all day. Can't see my reflection, because why would I want to? Hmm. Still a little bit. I'm, partly, I'm thinking, try to close doors? Will I eventually want to close them? I, I don't know. Let's listen to this then. The anatomy of the house is such that this analogy is less superficial than at first it may seem. To carry it further, if we were to dissect a house as we might a human cadaver, we would find ourselves able to isolate and describe its various appendages and their functions in a decidedly anatomical fashion. There is even a fair number of direct comparisons to be drawn between those organs of a house and those of a human body. Tape in the garage. However, I mean, you could kind of make a comparison between a house and the human body. And trust me, people definitely have. It's just, I mean, I guess we're going to take this in a very literal way. I'm waiting for the fleshy walls to start forming themselves. Is this the garage door? No, that means I assume it's this door. No, really? That would have been my actual guess, but that, that means I think I know what door it is. It's the one that's right next to the staircase, then. Peekaboo, it sure is dark here for me and you. You're the garage, right? They say third time's the charm, so let's see what happens. The garage is nice. Spacious, that, that's what you need for a car. <laughs> Apparently I don't have a car, though. That is just not in my garage. That, that's assuming this is even my garage. Again, I could just be infiltrating someone else's house. Maybe it's like somebody I love, or somebody I'm stalking. And I want to know them through their house. And I'm the one that left all these cassette tapes here. I'm like, I get to know you, because I'm in your house. Your house is like you. Your home is you. It's like I'm inside you! That's kind of what I'm pulling from this so far. Let's see what this cassette says. For example, let us examine the living room. Often the dominant space of a house is ground level, as well as typically the center of activity in a well-populated home. The living room is very much the heart of the house. While a human heart circulates blood to oxygenate the body's extremities, the living room circulates people, activity, communication, it is the room most likely to be found beating, as active and vivacious as its name would imply. The comparison is only strengthened when we consider also that the living room is most commonly the room to contain the fireplace, making it additionally a locus of actual physical heat. There is no surprise that the living room is the next house, next house, next room we're going into. But wasn't the living room open this whole entire time? Like, I'm pretty sure the living room's the room with the TV. Does that mean something's changed in there? You know, that's probably true, because that's the first time they given. Because the living room is literally the only room that's been accessible since the beginning. And when's the time to start introducing that this game is more than just a cassette collector? Is into the room that we've already been in. I'm a little bit concerned, because this is definitely... Unless, Chris, this is the living room. That's not the living room. This would be the living room. But I was already in here, so... Yeah, now there's just a cassette there next to the TV. You think the TV's going to turn on? Surprisingly not, but obviously there's something going on here because the cassettes are just appearing as I listen to them, and this room's already open. No questions, though. We'll just go in complete silence as I listen to this next cassette tape. Tell me what's on, weird voice I'm listening to, which may or may not be my own voice. It is easy to think of the kitchen and dining room as the stomach or digestive system of a house, though this comparison is tenuous. 
By contrast, the function and analog of a bathroom should be immediately obvious. The hallways and corridors of the house are its veins, providing circulation coursing throughout its frame. A staircase bears more than a passing resemblance, both physically and symbolically, to a spine. The windows of a house serve much the same purpose as eyes, and anyone who has ever rounded a bend or a long drive and come suddenly face to face with a tall, dark manor will tell you that it is difficult to shake the impression that the house, through its lightless windows, is a creature capable of vision and intelligence. Tape on the stairs. I thought that was going to be in the upstairs bathroom because it was very deliberately said downstairs bathroom before, but I guess we're working our way up to the stairs. I'm sure. I'm ready to see what's on the stairs. I'm also getting a little bit concerned that we keep on passing through this middle room. If there's any place where I, as a designer, would put something to scare the player, it'd be this area because we keep on passing by it. But there it is. I like how it's, this one's slightly glowing. Nothing up on top of the stairs, right? No? Okay. As we go back... Let's listen in. The bedroom is perhaps the room that most eludes direct comparison in this fashion. At a stretch, and allowing for a bit of poetic sympathy, it might be said that the bedroom is not unlike the human mind, or those parts of it which dictate thought and imagination. In the bedroom, dreams are dreamt, passions are ignited, epiphanies are experienced in cold sweat at early hours. In the bedroom is where people invariably spend the majority of their time, though comparatively little of it whilst conscious. I was talking this whole time apparently I was on mute okay so what I was saying is I was really expecting something to happen right there on my way back because that was the longest trek to get to the bedroom and then back to our house that was by far the longest trek that we had to do but nothing happened and I was just saying is that it's probably because I haven't played a horror game in a while but I'm really suspicious if something will or will not happen because it's the first horror game I played for a while, so getting all used to it. But also, on top of that, I was going to say that the house analogy that they're making here is both... Uh, it, it's not... I wouldn't say clever, because I think everyone's thought about it before. You know, like, oh, what if a house was a living thing? 
because we do live in houses and we make the front of houses kind of look like faces, at least things that we can associate as faces, and we give each room a function and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But really, I think that the analogy might be a little bit stretched thin. It's groundable enough where I guess you could start seeing what they're trying to say, but some of it's like you just have to make the assumption that's how the house is laid out because not every house is the same. And like, what, does that mean a trailer? Like, if somebody lives in a trailer, is the same as a house? Is is a trailer like a dog? Anyways, let's read what this has to say. It's like a small person. And yet, this analogy is an incomplete one, for obviously the mind is an exceedingly complex thing. If the bedroom represents the thinking, dreaming part of the brain, then it is the basement that represents those lower, unconscious parts. The basement is dark. It is buried. It is a place full of cobwebs where memories are stored. A poignant comparison, truly. Often the unnerving uncertainty that comes with considering the deeper aspects of the human psyche is not unlike gazing down at the swimming blackness pooled at the bottom of a basement stairwell. It is a place we spend our childhoods filling with monsters that will lay for years in patient silence. It is a place that Barring some specific errand, we seldom ever want to go. Oh dear. Of course, they had to... That's probably the basement behind me. They had to build up the basement with that big hole. It's where the subconscious mind lays. It's where nightmares in the subconscious way, where the darkness pools and whatever... Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be fun. I'm excited. So of course the subconscious mind is compared to a basement and how they worded it they, they definitely want you to suspect that something really bad's going to happen in the basement. So they even went into the whole it's where we repress stuff. It's where darkness of the mind lays where we conjure up monsters and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. So the basement Fun. Is this for the? Oh, I mean, there's, we're going in the basement. I, it, it's not a matter of if we are. We we dedicate ourselves to this game, and that basement's gonna happen. I'm gonna go down in there, and I'm I'm gonna find a cassette tape, assuming that you know something doesn't like eat my ankles while I'm down here or something. Let's take a look, though. Being me, Mr. Observer. So it's a nice basement. A little spacious. I, I'm used to basements being pretty crammed, actually. A lot of people, I mean, our family included, and also a lot of people's houses I went to would just cram their stuff into the basement, so I guess that's just the mental image I have of a basement. Not something so empty and barren such as this. I imagine something that's more cram full of the junk that people don't want to keep in their modern everyday lives, because most people don't like going to the basement. Well, there's the cassette tape. I'll pick it up, but I'll continue looking around the basement a bit more. Kind of weird that it was just on the wall, though, wouldn't you agree? At least I think that's a little bit odd. What does it even say on these tapes? I think it says mind, but I could just be making that up. Well, that was eventful. The wall is always pink. Never mind. Let's continue. So nothing happened in the basement. Let's see what you guys say. Of course, this comparison, though appropriate, is a very heavy-handed one, and often the basement is little more than a storage space littered with the corpses of spiders and wood lice. While poets and psychoanalysts no doubt dread the thought of a dark basement, in truth, it is the bedroom, the waking mind, that place of dreams, that is actually the most frightening of all. Oh boy. So, now we go to the master bedroom, and that they're building it up as the most frightening. I like how the person is just starting to go, like, psycho talk about, it's the most frightening room in the house. The basement is dark. But really, the basement's just an empty storage full of empty corpses of spiders. What's truly frightening is the master bedroom. Well, it sure does have red walls, which is different than what I've become accustomed to. Who would want a master bedroom with just pure red walls? I've got a theory this isn't a healthy bedroom. Oh, so what the fuck? How I get so turned around? 
Well, I found the tape. Is there anything else going on here? Kind of confused. I think I've... What? Hey! Well, first of all, the cassette player somehow got here. Second of all, I think wherever I came from disappeared. You know what? It definitely disappeared. Hi, hey, teeth. That's not why I got so turned around. We got some interesting things going around because the room changed when I wasn't looking. That would explain why I got so confused why it was an empty room that suddenly just disappeared into something else. Well, thanks for moving up here with me. Nice pictures. Love what you've done with the place. Apparently people really don't like teeth in this room. Well, let's see what you guys say. It was here, in the bedroom, that we are at our most vulnerable. Each night we shut our senses to the world for hours at a time, trusting in the house to keep us safe until next we wake. In this state of extreme vulnerability, we will spend something like 20% of our lives. Anything might stand beside us, watch us, keep us company until dawn, and we would never perceive it. We can only pray that the house will not let such things carry on as we sleep. In this way, during these hours, the bedroom seems less like a mind and more like a mouth. For it is here that the house is most likely to betray us. It is here that we place ourselves most at the house's mercy and spend each night hoping that it will not bite down. The game just closed. Huh. Is that the whole game? I'm going to relaunch it and see if anything happens. But I think that might have been it. In which case, it was interesting. Uh... Wait, there's a document in here. Let me see what it says. Before we reach the end of the game, unsure what to do next, scroll down slowly. Stop at speed bumps. Have you only run the game once? The game must be run several times for the complete experience. Oh boy. Alright. So yeah, that's what the document says. The game must be run more than once for the full experience. So let's open it again. Again, it's better judgment, so fun. So let's see what they got in store next. I thought that might be the case because of how it ended and also the text on it appeared. Yeah, this game are corrupted. And all the doors are already open. Even ones I didn't go in previously. There's also a creepy little sound playing in the background. Is there always just a big window there? I don't even know. So what was that sound? Jesus. The TV's on. Input. You cast a light in the room. I'll keep you on TV. You seem nice. No light switches still, though. Oh, we can now turn on more light switches. Was that lamp always there? I don't think the lamp was always there. Well, let's take a solid look about. There's a lot more details to that. So I only think it had this. It was white walls before. There weren't windows, and there weren't like this was a white wall before because I was looking at the wall earlier. What? Why did you do that? Why am I shattering plates? Why did I do that? I don't even know. I guess I just don't like my plates or this person's plates. I'm not going to listen to that quite yet. I'm going to look around a little bit more. Oh, hey. The mirror is weird. I guess.
guess that's all I gotta say about that. I'll go upstairs in a moment. What's in the garage? Hello? One less look around. Remember, I can move like goddamn Sonic when I want to. The blue glow there is actually pretty creepy, especially coming out of the garage like that. There are still rooms I haven't been into yet. Picture of a place. There was a door within a door that led to a locked door. Huh. Kind of a creepy picture. Have I been tra trapped in the loop of the room again? Sure hope not. Okay, good. The door is still there. That's all I need to check. Well, nothing going on inside the master bedroom outside of that, seems. At least not yet. Let's crisscross back out. Jesus, that's getting really bad. I haven't been in here yet. It's the upstairs bathroom. It's the upstairs bathroom. I assume it's supposed to be flickering like that. Nothing in the bathtub, though. Let's continue. I haven't been in here either. It's just the empty room of the house. Let's go to sign over here. All those windows. And it's another bedroom. With another kind of creepy picture next to it. And there's a tape player in here. I praise the Lord my soul to take. I didn't recognize what they were saying at first, but... Amen! I don't know if he does to say that. Kind of a weird thing to play there, but okay. Back out. Hmm. There's some things that are purposely there, which I think are purposely supposed to be kind of glitchy looking. Huh. Well. Let's go downstairs. One must go down places. We can now listen to what that tape actually has to say. Though, given I haven't been inside the basement yet, I'll let that occur in just a little bit. But since the tape is right here, I'll listen to it. First... We listen you first, see what happens. In the psychology of the modern civilized human being, it is difficult to overstate the significance of the house. Since as early as the Neolithic era, humankind has defined the era of the The main structures that mankind has invented for itself, there is little doubt that the house is that which it relies upon most completely for its continued survival. in the tape in the dining room. The basement is also locked. Every other room is literally open, but the basement is locked. I already broke all the things, because that's fine. Guess we'll see what's going on here. Why do human beings of our modern age foster this tremendous sympathy, 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 sympathy? Deep in the downstairs bathroom. I know the house has gotten a little bit messed up since I was last year. Let's listen in to these fascinating tapes. Decidedly, 
There is a ta 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 doors are unlocked. But not the basement. Now all the doors in the place currently are unlocked outside of the basement to my knowledge. But was it the living room next, or was it the garage that was next? I opened up this door. Why didn't it close itself again? It's a little concerning. Oh, it's because I couldn't get through. <laughs> I guess that would make sense. I didn't remember if it was here or the garage up here. But somebody did turn off the lamp. That was not me that turned that off. That I know for a fact. Well, let's go into the garage next. I think it'll be the garage that's hiding the tape. Or maybe we need to search and find it, because it doesn't really seem like inside the garage either. The only door that was locked that became unlocked, to my knowledge, is the basement, but or not? It's not locked. I, I meant what well, was locked in the first place. Every other door seems like it's been open. I guess I'll explore all the rooms down here first, and then I'll go upstairs for good measure. On the, the sofas? Nope. Not over here. This one didn't give us any directions, so I guess we just kind of wander. I did wander the house earlier, so I guess now it's time for spot the difference. Can you spot what's different about the house? But it could just meant that one of the doors that was previously unlocked, or previously locked, now is holding what I need. It's not on the stairs. I'm going to take a guess that's either in the bathroom or in the other bedroom. Still suspicious about this flickering picture. Hmm. How about in here? Though I already found the audio tape. The window in here was not flickering before. I was in here and I would have noticed that flickering window because I was staring just at the walls. So maybe it's in here. I've already listened to this though. That's already been done. Why are the two windows just right next to each other like that? Hmm. Well, there's only so many other rooms it could be in. This is the bedroom. Yeah, here it is, bedroom. Now, what if you take one of the... What if I took this to the other cassette player where I know where it is? It's just... Uh, I don't even think I can insert it in this, but I'm going to try. Yeah, you can. It's, it's not the... It just plays the Amen tape. You can't actually take it with you. Well, let's go back downstairs and hope that everything's fine. This is fine, I tell myself as I walk backwards to listen to another cassette. I heard a noise as I came back, but I'm going to ignore that. Yes, we do just that. Thanks for watching the video. I'd very much appreciate if you take a moment to consider donating to my Patreon, where I'm trying to turn this into a livelihood for missed game videos, different higher quality video series for the channel, and my own little games to make from time to time. You can learn more about all of this at the link, which you'll also find in the description below. If you'd like to watch me record my game videos, take part in development streams, or just interact some, I stream quite regularly at my hitbox.tv channel, and it's where I record all my gameplay for my Let's Plays. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and until next time, adieu.